welcome everybody to our last live talk for today. As I already announced a couple of seconds ago, actually, we are going to talk about a very, very interesting product and a very interesting application. I'm very happy to have two gentlemen with me here on stage. I'd like to introduce to you Mr. Olivier Braun. He's the vice president at Michelin for the Tweel Technologies. And Joe Barnes, he's at BASF, our account manager for Michelin. So I would like to start with you, Olivier. First question, this, what we have in front here of us is something that I hadn't seen before. We can also see it on the picture on the back. It's called a twill or an airless radial tire. Can you tell us what that is? Guten Abend. <laughs> Guten Abend. So yeah, that's a little revolution in the world of mobility. For 100 years, we put air in tires. But air, the problem, you can disappear, you can get a flat, and the vision is to remove the air, no air, no problem. So uh, how did you do that? I mean, if that was going on for 100 years, how did you come up with that fresh idea? Thanks to BSF, we are moving from the rubber industry to the plastic industry, and we transform a tire, including some spokes made out of polyresins. So what I, what I can see here now, this uh, looks like some heavy-duty machine for, which is used somewhere in a garden. Is that the main application for the airless radial tire currently? That's the main focus. Our dream is the automotive industry, but we are focusing on turf care, mm -hmm. so mowers and construction machines. This is a, a very, very interesting thing. Joe, uh, from your perspective, from a BASF perspective, this is uh, surely also the first time you worked on something like this. What did you think when they came up with the idea in the first place? Well, it was a very exciting opportunity. Um, I looked at this application and, and was amazed. And I looked at the value potential that this type of application could bring. And uh, it was very exciting and wanted BSF to be part of that process to bring this new innovation to market and uh, help change the way people get around. I mean, it's, it's certainly exciting to work on something like this, but I can also imagine that it's uh, very ambitious to realize something like this. So what, what was your key success factor in, in your team and also in the cooperation with Olivier's team? <clears throat> well, it's almost a natural partnership. Of course, Michelin brings a competence in tires. BSF brings a competence in materials. And by combining that and that partnership, the collaboration, the teamwork, that's what makes it all happen. And of course, what's make, what makes up the teams is the people. And both companies have passionate people. They want to do the right things for their company and are proud of their companies and the brands that are being represented. I also have, talking to you shortly before the talk, I also had the feeling that you feel very passionate about this uh, product and the project. Is this also something special for you in your career? We can change the world with that kind of applications. We can make history. Okay. So that's something unique in your career to be able to make history. So that question is answered, <laughs> definitely. So on that, thanks to BSF. Joe, you're a, a key account manager uh, for Michelin at BASF. Um, what would you say in, in cooperating with a company like Michelin, which is also very exposed in the automotive industry, yeah, very professional, very strong brand, um, what would you say, is there any kind of special behavior or attitude that you need to have to work with those guys? Just as we look for diversity in our workforce, the key thing for us, too, when we're interfacing with customers is understanding that different companies do different things. Of course, BSF, uh, very much German uh, heritage, Michelin, uh, Fran French. Um, but, and we do things differently. But in the end, if we understand that, we recognize those differences, we learn how to work together, we bring success. Olivier, I, I'm also very interested in further applications of the airless radial tire. What is your plan? Uh, you said that turf applications are the, the most important thing right now, but are there some more concrete plans for the next future? Yeah, obviously we have a, a roadmap. So we start by turf care and construction, compact construction. But we have in the pipeline what we call UTV, small uh, micro vehicles. We think about driverless shuttles. And ultimately we think about automotives. Um, okay, Joe, 
um, when you take a look at a, at a product like this, which doesn't only need like product expertise from a BASF standpoint, uh, but maybe also simulation expertise, knowing the application, what would you say how important is actually to also understand your customers' needs? Well, you can't get started without understanding the needs of the customer. You know, what are the requirements of the application? What are the actual anticipated end uses? Um, how they need to use our materials to make their product. BSF brings several competencies. It's not only material technology, it's processing expertise, it's simulation expertise. And we want to you know, help our customer be successful. That's one of our core principles at BSF and we want to do that as, in many uh, competencies as we can. Thank you. My last question goes to you, uh, Olivier. You uh, talked a lot about the, the teamwork and the special cooperation between BASF and Michelin here. Do you also have future projects between the two companies in the pipeline currently, or are you still busy improving the wheel? So the first focus will be the earliest tire, mm -hmm. but we have potential other application is endless. Endless. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Okay, sure. I think this was uh, really interesting. Um, Joe and Olivier will stay here for a couple of minutes to answer your questions uh, about the wheel, and you can also try and check if there's really no air inside. I can promise you there is no air inside. Olivier, Joe, thank you very much for that interesting live talk, and see you soon. <laughs>